Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and I am joined by Modi, and uh, we are ranking the Generation 2 uh, Fire Emblem 4 characters, and unfortunately, it's been like, what, three or four months since we actually played, so our analysis might not be the best. We did actually rank these, like, initially afterwards, but I am a dumbass and I fucked up the recording, so it is unwatchable. Um... <laughs> So we're going to do our best to talk about how these units perform in a 0% growth setting. Um, rank from S to F. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we can do. I'm going to start with Selif. Uh, Selif, I believe, performs kind of closest to his regular FE4 vanilla performance out of all of the characters on this list. He's like... You sink a bunch of resources in him, give him Brave Sword, and then take advantage of the fact that he can kill a boss and seize on several maps. Yeah. By virtue of that, I feel like he's at least B tier. I know he's like the best unit in Gen 2 and Vanilla, but he can't reliably take care of enemies in the same way he would if you pumped resources into him yeah. and experience. Like you put rings and in, in the Brave Sword and shit on him, but I don't know. Do you think. What do you think, Cody? Uh yeah i agree with you uh also like he can he doesn't uh it's at a zero percent growth so uh his promotion is not that big i don't i don't remember it being that big he gets so, a horse he gets a horse true but like uh as stat wise not that big uh, although he did a lot of uh, like for us, uh, and uh, uh, like, in actuality, in practicality, uh, he kills a lot of uh, bosses, and the crits is very good on him. Uh, Especially brave crits. Yeah, brave crits just destroys everyone. And I uh, mean, seizing is a utility in terms of if he, uh, for example, in Endgame, there's that uh, the Great Wall castle where we had to get him to get the boss killed because then he could seize and get rid of the Great Wall and no one would be able to survive the, like, seven sleep stabs and 15 ballistas and boltings and bullshit. True. Uh, but for him to function, we needed to give him favoritism, which I think hurts him. That's why, like... Uh, I agree. Uh, like, we could give anyone else the same favoritism and they would be the same as, other than the seizing thing. But, like, he had to have that favorism to function, which is, well, that, that, that's basically how he It functioned. is a downside. It's definitely, yeah. uh, you say anyone else could function the way he could with favoritism. I think that's partially true. Like, if we gave that favoritism to Ares or Oife, they would, in many instances, just be a better yeah. version of Selif. That's what I meant. But I do think he needed it at some... Like, he needed it at least in Endgame, because there are several... Well, there's the one castle in particular I can think of, where I just... I needed him to be the one to seize it. Uh, that's also... Um, there's two, actually. The first castle, the Great Wall, and then Manfroy's castle. He kind of needed to be the one to do that, because, again, there's all those... Uh, it's yeah. a really toxic castle. They've got, like, yeah. hell plus, like, just bullshit. Yeah, true. So I think the favoritism definitely, like, weighs him down, the fact that he needed it. So I'm not comfortable putting him higher than B tier, but I still think B tier is an appropriate place for him. True. All right, sorry about that. Um, I had an issue with my recording, but thankfully all we were doing was talking about Selif, and so I feel fine just leaving that as a static image, and you will get to see the mouse moving around for the rest of the time. Um... Let's move on to, uh, oh, what's her name? Lana? Mana? Lana. Lana, yeah. I get them confused because it's like Lana, Mana, and Nana all exist. Um, I, I don't know who is Mana, but sure. <laughs> oh, this is Mana. I accidentally put Mana up here instead of Ulster. So we're going to go ahead and swap them real quick. Um, okay. But she's the replacement. It's just, she's just Lana, but worse. Okay. Uh Lana getting the, like, being able to have the rescue staff packed down was actually really helpful. Um, 
we, we, we come to an interesting question with her, right? Is how much credit does she get for the rescue staff existing earlier than it would if we gave it to, uh, I guess Nana would be the only, well, no, Nana, yeah, Nana would be the only, uh, no, Nana couldn't. It would have to be, like, said, and then we wouldn't get Hawk. So how much credit does she get for the early rescue staff versus the work that she did herself? Because I think the fact she gets us early rescue staff is something that we should count in her favor. Like, yep, for I don't know how much, though. Uh, it's the same as uh, does availability matter and tiering, because uh, that's basically what it is. It, she is a rescue staff user who is very early in the game. Or well, at not least... Not only that, it... like, we wouldn't get the rescue staff until Chapter 9 because we can't pass it down. So it's like item availability, too. Like, the yeah. item gets availability. Yeah. So it's like a few a few value availability for a unit. Uh, you think that it's it's something that's inherent in the unit. I think an I like a unique item that only they can bring you to to the uh, to your to you is also inherent in them. Like they should get uh, uh, cre credibility for it. Like uh, yeah. So she gets credit for rescue existing from chapters six through, I think six through eight is the entire, because you can buy it in chapter nine, I believe. I might be wrong about that. It might be chapter 10 that you buy it if you don't pass it down, but you could pass it down potentially to said and you just like miss out on Hawk, which means the run's not winnable. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, if she's getting credit for chapters six through eight or six through nine, depending um, on how you think about things, because it's like, I think at that point, she becomes an A tier, right? Even though she wasn't the one doing all of the rescuing. Like, that's just a, that's a really big deal that she give, she gets credit for the rescue staff even existing. She um, also helped, uh, she also did uh, rescuing in uh, Chapter 6, which is, which was nice. Yeah, especially because our forces were pretty weak in Chapter 6. Um and her ability to use Physic was also useful for the cheesy sell of choke point strats. Sure. Um, like, if, if because she could use Physic, we didn't have to rely on, like, Julia dodging hand axes and stuff. Um, so I think, overall, like, really weird to have Lana, of all people, whose name I can't even remember half the time, in A tier. But I think she did nature performance when you factor in those when you factor in that right yeah okay um oh i once again i keep grabbing the wrong person instead of ulster i'm so bad at this uh let's talk about larsay and ulster they're kind of just like the same right yeah they are the same unit they didn't do it a lot they did like oh they killed one person or two <laughs> this is like they are they weren't that good yeah, it's a weird situation where, like, we were just talking about availability being a big deal, but it's not a big deal if you're not doing much when you're available. And, like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have them in chapters 6 and 7 because, like, they... The, the fact that they, like, just are another unit for me to use was really helpful in, like, dealing with the Axe Bros, for example, um, when, you're, when you're trying to shoot, recruit, like, Johan and Javier or dealing with like just random units in uh the beginning of chapter seven when there's those dark mages but i don't like i think they're just interchangeable with like they weren't that much better than their substitutes would have been yeah uh, i i think you calculated it that the substitute will have lower might just because their weapons are worse <laughs> Yeah, being able to pass down the weapons is the only reason. Because these guys would have, um, the substitutes had, like, basically one or two more points of strength than these guys do at base. I think we, I think we put them at D tier for availability alone. Um, and I am going to very, very quickly adjust my, uh, layout. Okay, I'm here. Layout is fixed for now. Um... But yeah, I think D tier is the right place for them. They're just sort of like the very definition of they're just they're flunkies. Yeah. Uh, Dermatist tier. What do you think about Dermot? What do you yeah, think Dermot about Dermot? Dermot's tier. 
You think Dermot's S tier? S tier because you you still, he made you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Um, I'm willing to compromise a little bit on Dermot because um, so he does actually benefit me more than these scrubs do because he's part oh, yeah. of the Charm Brigade, and the Charm Brigade is Poggers. Yeah, oh, Charm Brigade. Oh yeah. That- uh, yeah, he was one of the Charm Brigade. He he literally was very useful in a lot of situations where we needed Het. Uh, and that's basically a, a, every a boss. <laughs> so. Well, but the uh, question the, becomes like, how much. Because, like, he's. Charm on its own, like, a single charm on its own isn't a big deal. It's yeah. when you combine like charm plus charm plus charm plus uh, 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 leadership. Like, uh, actually, stacking that it is good. Actually, that's also a point for uh, uh, self that we didn't. Oh, I, I forgot about that leadership. Oh, yeah, he's kind of in the charm brigade because he has leadership stars. Yeah. So like, even when he wasn't being useful on his own, once he has a horse and can keep up, like he's, which we got the horse very early intentionally. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think. I think you're right. I think, like, I, st- I don't think it moves him up from B tier to A tier, but I think it keeps him higher in B tier as more people enter B tier. Yeah. Um, I do think Dermot is the weakest of them, of all the charm people, because, like, let's go over, you know, Nana has healing utility, and Layla, obviously, Dancer. Um, I'm sorry. Whereas, like, Dermot is just basically a subpar combat unit who you can use for charm purposes. So, like... It's more than these guys, but... Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't remember him doing anything combat-wise other than make you suffer, which is, like, (laughs) S-tier. Didn't he, like... uh, I think he randomly survived... In the end game. he, like, survived a round of combat that he probably shouldn't have just because he was promoted. Um, Oh, Like, I had him fight some axe bros and shit, but overall, he's not that great. Yeah. Um, He's definitely no Oifi. Oifi is is amazing. Um, Oifi is... Oh, if he is a chicken, or oh, if he is like destroyed all the game, <laughs> if you are like, actually no, he destroyed the games, uh, uh, half of the gen two, then ga- gives uh, Hawkeye the rest of it. <laughs> but he was still useful even when we didn't have Hawk, yeah. because like yeah. Hawk couldn't handle everything on his own, especially because like he he relied on dodging a lot. Um, yep. So even, or rather, even when we did have Hawk, he was still useful because he like was just another fairly strong unit. And sometimes we needed to like divide our forces, or sometimes we just needed multiple people yeah. to take down yeah. bosses and stuff. Um, I think it's very rare that a Jagan isn't S tier and a zero percent growth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he helped us through the the Gen two as a whole. And I think Oifi has a reputation for being one of the better Jagans. Like, he's a Jagan who doesn't fall off. Some people say, like, there's an Oifi archetype. I don't think that's true. I think, like, the fact he doesn't have access to a holy weapon does hurt him even when, in a 0% growth context, he can't fall off because, you know, nobody else is growing. Um, I do think that, like, Ares, for example, was better for him in the late game was better than him in the late game, rather. But, uh, you know, just because he doesn't have a holy weapon doesn't make him completely worthless. True. Um, speaking of completely worthless, you like that segue? You killed him. I killed him. Um, you and killed I'm not him. sorry you... about it. You killed him. I, I hate you for it. <laughs> okay, modern mind. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong. He was RNG manipulation.exe and Ulster was better at it than him. <laughs> well, I, I, I really don't mind this because he, yeah, he was useless. He, he didn't do anything. Even if we were, even in chapter six, I remember that you wanted him to chip. He only did two damage or something like that. It was dumb. <laughs> I remember deploying him in chapter eight or rather chapter nine, I think, because there were wyverns and I wanted to keep someone else in the castle instead. Um, and then he didn't do jack shit. Like, he, <laughs> Lester's big day out was uh, was dying to Julius. Yeah. Um, which, granted, like, that's utility. 
Uh, but it's utility that literally any mounted unit could have done, and honestly, unmounted units probably could have as well. It's just like it would have been yeah. a little bit harder to navigate around everyone. Yep. Um, I made the calculation that he was by far the worst unit and the most ready sacrifice. He got the Valkyrie staff though, so like, fuck you, I guess. <laughs> I do find it kind of hilarious that the first unit I killed off was the one holding the revival staff worthlessly. <laughs> uh, but there's not really much to talk about other than, like, I'm sorry, Lester fanboys and fangirls and fan theys. Like, Lester sucks. And if you like Lester, that's fine. You probably like him because he sucks. Because a lot of people like units just because they suck. And that's fine. But Lester sucks. Um, speaking of sucking, Nosferatu is a vampire and also a tome that Julia has. See what I did there? Vampires suck blood? I'm on fire today. Yeah, no. Um, what do you think of Julia? The only, uh, the only thing, uh, did, I think she's assisted on killing Julius, right? Uh, no, the Berserk staff did that. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I sort of played it up that like, oh yeah, Juli Julius is going to be easy, even on zero percent growths. Like Julia is going to be able to take care of him, and then yeah, I, I plowed remember... Julia into Julius, and it was like, no hit, no damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. She was so bad at it. So um, she a is. Healer. She is just tough. You uh, as tough user for like two chapters or something. Um. Or I mean, she was around for almost as long as Lana. Um, she had combat for longer than Lana, but I think her combat was worse overall than once Lana was promoted. Lana was, like, actually decent at combat. Yeah. I, do, I don't think Ju Julia has anything to do. Like, she is not that good. Uh, she wasn't that good. She healed a, a bit. Uh, I don't remember we gave her any utility staffs other than healing. Uh... And she didn't do that much of combat, so... I, think I remember maybe C tier? Like, she's definitely better than the Sword Twins, right? Oh, yeah, Just by virtue of healing people who matter. Yeah. Like, yeah. they don't matter. She half matters, because she heals people who matter. I, I remember also she... Uh, like, in Chapter 7, uh, she went and killed a, a bit... Uh, like, she, I, I can't even say killed. I will just say damaged some of the Dark Mages. <laughs> Yeah, because she had like, weapon uh, triangle over them. Yeah. Or rather neutral to them, I think is how it works in FE4. I, I think I uh, dark magic and light magic are actually neutral to each other. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of Radiant Dawn, where there's the advantage. I think she's worse what? than a single charm, right? Or uh, uh, is she uh, is she C tier? She wasn't that like around for so long. She leaves at chapter eight, doesn't she? She leaves at the beginning of chapter 10. So she's only missing oh. for, like, two chapters. And oh. I don't think she would have done much in those two chapters if she had been around. Because I had uh, a bunch of staffers at that point. Like, I've got Lana, Nana, Leaf, Charlo. Like, I can always find more uses for staffs. Uh, Femina yeah. was a staffer at that point. Um, yeah. Like, I could always find more uses for staffs. But she was also kind of, like, she'd done everything she needed to do. Um, so I don't, like, I don't penalize her too hard for leaving for those two chapters since she would have been unimpactful, which I guess kind of speaks to her value anyway. Like, yeah, if she would have been thing. unimpactful. She, she is not impactful. At least, uh, Dermot gives head, uh, we, we can use him to stack head and avoid. She doesn't do anything. <laughs> she heals. Uh, she heals. I'll put her lower than Dermot, but I'm not putting her in D tier with the sword twins. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Femna's interesting. Femna's interesting. Because I, like... Femna's the, the substitute that I, like, kind of wasn't looking forward to using. I was like, I've got to use Femna instead of Fee. Um, and I generally don't care for Fee. I actually low-key like Femina now. Um, like, she's worse than Fee. I'm not going to pretend that she's suddenly the sub that everyone sleeps on. Um, but I'd much rather have... Uh, Femina and uh, Hawk, then I would have Fee and Sed, just because of how much better... Like, Femina isn't that much worse than Fee, 
And I think that it's not enough to like justify the trade off for said. I, I I genuinely think said is a worse unit, but we'll talk about we'll talk about said um when we get to Hawk. Uh, as uh, far as Femina goes, like she did everything Fee would do, right? Like she's bad at combat, but she flies around and you know accomplishes missions such as saving villages and yeah shipping uh, people. Fem Femina is really uh, as you said is the one that I d I thought is gonna be useless and not being used at all. And then we actually used her a quite a bit for utility. Not just saving villages. I don't think she was very good at saving villages, actually. She she dies fast and, like, relies on a uh, berserker uh, sword to do mm. it. Uh, but that's the thing. The berserk sword <laughs> was so good. Uh, yes, it needed uh, RNG manipulation, but everything needed uh, RNG manipulation in that run. So, yeah. it was clutch, actually. A lot of the times, it was clutch to have the Berserk Sword. And, and have it on I, a flyer. Yeah, and to have it on, on a flyer. So, I think she is she is not that bad. Uh, still, still worse than any of the combat units. And worse than someone who has charm. <laughs> you think she's worse than Dermot? Uh, charm was like we use charm every single chapter in every single cast. Well, but Dermot only gets one quarter credit for that because, like, True. he's only one of the four charmers. Like, that's my thing about Dermot, right? Is like charm, like, charm is incredibly useful. I don't want to discount the fact that charm is incredibly useful. Yeah. Um, but one, we're using RNG manipulation. Theoretically, charm isn't actually doing anything. Um, but more importantly, like, a single 10% hit and avoid boost isn't a huge deal. It's the fact that we can get 40. Um, yeah. Like, 40 is a big number. 10 potentially makes a difference, but, you know, if you're looking at, say we got, you know, I've got to hit this unit, and I have a 30% chance to do so. If Dermot shows up, I have a 40% chance to do so. That's still not great. But if the entire Charm Brigade shows up, I've got 70, yeah, but, and suddenly we're talking business. Um, uh, but the, the thing is, it's about uh, stacking rather than him by himself alone. I, I, yeah. I think Charm... The, like, I think the Charm Brigade should all get some uh, credit for their Charm. Oh, I definitely give him some credit. Like, he wouldn't be in C tier if I didn't give him some credit. Yeah. But I, uh, but I feel weird about giving him, like, the entire, like, the fact that the Charm Brigade is awesome. Giving all of that credit to Dermot, of all people. Maybe I'm biased against him because he made me suffer. Um, <laughs> of course you are. How dare you? <laughs> but it's just, like, Dermot. What the fuck? Because, like, if Dermot isn't charming, he's a wasted unit, right? Like, yeah, true, at least true. when, when Selif isn't charming, right? Like, I can get boss kills. Or... Yeah. Uh, when Nana isn't charming, she can do, like, staff stuff, like, mounted staffer stuff. When yeah. Layla isn't charming, like, Layla's a dancer. When Dermot yeah. isn't charming, he sticks his thumb up his ass and just, like, cries. <laughs> true, true. Uh, uh, another thing about Femina is, like, she flies and have Layla's utility, so that's good. Yeah, I, I, and she can, in addition to being a staff flyer, she can be, like, a bait flyer. In Chapter 8, we used her to, like, help train leaf by baiting people around true uh i think i think i think she is better than dermot at least i buy a bit i kind of want to put her in b tier just to piss some people off but i think yeah. she belongs in c tier yeah um speaking of people who belong in c tier joe is, is he c tier uh i mean he has a horse right so he's better yeah, than these he, two he has a horse and he has actual bulk and yeah. fe4 well he has uh, actual bug for a little bit and then mages for, show up yeah for sure but like he he was doing a lot of work especially and he promoted fast yeah and his promotion bonuses were really good like he has lex's promotion bonuses and lex's yeah, and, graybacks yeah and he, he 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 reached his promotion fast i don't remember him being like behind so so like i remember him being one of our main combat units for like three uh, chapter six to chapter no, not chapter six 
Uh, ch chapter 7 and 8, at least. Yeah, because we promoted him at the start of Chapter 7, because yeah. I ground him up a bunch in Chapter 6, and then he broke his only weapon. <laughs> 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 so, I don't think I actually got him through the arena to promotion, unfortunately, but um, I got him close enough that he was able to promote at some point in Chapter 7. I don't think it was as early as I would have liked, but um, even unpromoted, he was fine. Um, yeah. I mean, he's definitely better than Jahalvier. Like, people talk about Jahalvier being like, do you want stats or do you want horses? But, like, Johan's promotion bonuses are better than Jahalvier's promotion bonuses. So it's like, you know, what are you doing? The only the only way that Jahalvier is better than Johan is in a ranked run. Ranked yeah, run in and... a ranked run, because you yeah. get the bow arena. Yeah, and this is not a ranked run. <laughs> uh, well, do we want to put Johan in B tier just to be, like, edgy? I wouldn't say edgy. He actually was useful for a lot of time. He was useful, and it's weird. It just feels weird to put him in the same tier as Sela. <laughs> like, well, this is the most bizarre fucking... Like, look at this right here. Look at this. Well, Lana above Selif, and then Selif directly above Johan. Like, this is this is bizarro world. I guess I got my thumbnail, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, clickbait. How did I put Selif in B tier? <laughs> Um, Shannon, Shannon. I he love Shannon. I he was amazing. No horse. Um, locked to one range. Relies on his holy weapon is the argument that I've heard some people put against him. But like, if it's his personal weapon, then yeah, he relies on it. That he's good. That's like saying like. Yeah. Wait, that that's an actual argument? Yeah, I've heard people say, like, oh, he relies on the Bulmong. He wouldn't be good if you took the Bulmong away from him. Yeah, to which I say, can. like, Leaf wouldn't be good if you took the Master Knight promotion away from him. Are we judging units based on, like, arbitrary takeaway qualities, or are we judging units based on what they are in the fucking game? Yeah, exactly. Also, he literally, like, you can't get the Bulmong out of him. Use it! <laughs> you can glitch it onto Larsai if you're a simp. Uh, like, what? Well, it doesn't make sense. That... Okay, I don't care what people argue about. Uh, I think he was good. I think he was very useful. I think... So... Actually, I have one part that without him, we couldn't even finish the, uh, the game without uh, Shannon, which is uh, Arvis. Did uh, we use him for Arvis? I feel uh, like we uh, should have. We should have sleep. We realized afterwards, like, Sleep Sword Shannon would have been the best play. Uh, Shannon, uh, at the end of that, like, we were doing stupid shit. Because we're idiots. We're, yeah, we were fighting Arvis with Arthur. Or the, and, my hill or whatever it is. Yeah, and, uh, we, yeah, like, we wanted a credit and we realized that, oh, wait. Fucking and then Shanan, <laughs> and then Shanan came in and destroyed Arvis. Uh, he was useful in the early game too, like just uh, he, being he, a sword he master is with the holy weapon. Every time, uh, he is useful ev at every point in Gen two. To be honest, so I don't A tier, S tier. Where are you think? I say A tier because he's still like foot locked and uh, foot no, foot what feet locked and uh yeah, like he needs to to take pay, like pace pace up and stuff do you think he's better than uh, he's lana? better than lana. Okay. That he's even than lana. even factoring in lana getting credit for the rescue staff even existing yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's true because yeah. the rescue staff's only really useful in chapter six and then once leaf is promoted which was later than i would have liked um what about his wife? What do we think about his wife? Like, I thieves are the, useful, right? Uh, the thieves are one of the most important trolls in FE4. Uh, because, uh, it, like, uh, uh, money management. And money uh, management's more important when you don't have stats. Like, you just rely on money to make your units good. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, and she, she is actually she's more also of a money source because of her thief uh, skill. Yeah, she can like steal it from the various bandits and stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
I think uh, that's I'll, like that, at that's this why point, the pain, that, that's all that's why that pain in the ass to do, but like at least it was super useful. Especially like, with it the was, sleep sword yeah. and the wind sword and stuff. Yeah. I think at this point I'm willing to say she's better than Selif. Like money is more important than combat in a run like this. Yeah. Um especially since we were able to RNG manipulate to steal like as much as we possibly could. Also, she she is and I hate it. She is married to Shannon, usually, mm-hmm. and Shannon destroys the arena and he gives all the money to her. So. So she gets a lot more yeah. tools at her disposal to yeah. do the money management. Yeah. I mean, she was the main reason that I even paired up Bridget. Like. Uh, I will. I will say a funny thing about uh, like I don't know about her. Uh, but I know I know it's true for Daisy. There's uh, a glitch that you do with uh, Salaf, mm-hmm. uh, and the, at the start of chapter seven, they start married for some reason. That's so dumb. Uh, <laughs> that's so dumb. But that's like FE4 for you. Yeah. That's what the Super Nintendo games are like. Yeah. Just glitch city. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm anticipating my layout getting fucked over, so I'm going to remove uh, Arion, and we'll be right back with a non-fucked layout. Alrighty, we're back. Um, I got rid of Arion. I was going to rank him just as a meme, but I really don't want to fuck up my layout any more than I already did, so we're just not going to rank him. Um, we are going to rank Leaf, though. Uh, uh, Master Knight. Staff Leaf. Bo- both, uh, bot la- uh, staff Bot Leaf. Uh, Basically, staff bot, yeah. Um, I think I put, like, a couple of tomes on him to, like, take care of wyverns and silver and shit. I don't remember he did anything combat-wise, but he was super dumb with with his staffs, as in good (laughs) with his staffs. Yeah, magic rescue staff. Like, Yeah, and recover. He has recover, he has rescue. Yeah, recover, physic, uh, rescue... He could status if he wanted to, although we kept them on the high yeah. magic units. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think... I mean, honestly, like... Normally, staff utility isn't something that is going to get you ranked super, super high. But I think in a run like this, especially considering, like... We kind of relied on rescue to skip over a lot of the more challenging parts. Um, yeah. Do you think he belongs in S tier? Or do you think he belongs in A tier? S tier is for the ones that makes the game less uh, painful in a way that's like, oh, the, just put this unit and it destroys this area. And the, like, oh, if he was that, uh, he wasn't that. He assisted those people to do that. <laughs> well, but he destroys the area of movement. True, but like movement, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll put him at the top of A. Yeah. Better than Shannon. Yeah. Like, he, he's... Even though Shannon was incredible, it's just rescue, staff utility, like, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was necessary for, like, helping, again, with Selif, like, getting through certain castles by seizing and just skipping the obstacles. Leaf was necessary for that. Also, Leaf, uh, to get Leaf to that point, we needed to grind him. And I don't know. I, I remember I'm, I remember us having trouble doing that yeah we needed feminist help for that it was yeah. the light brand broke it was a mess yeah yeah i so to get to that point that he had we want we needed to go through a lot uh it's the same as uh an awakening donald is an amazing in it but his start is shit so it's like do i go for it or just forget about him <laughs> Yeah, we definitely, we definitely, I definitely agree. We should definitely penalize him for, like, the amount of work you have to put. Like, he's irreplaceable in terms of what he does. There's no one else no. who's mounted it yeah, and yeah, used yeah. the rescue staff, at least in vanilla. Um, uh, Nana can't? No, because the rescue staff's A rank. And okay. Nana has no way of getting to A rank. She's got okay. C rank stabs. Okay. Um, we can talk about her, though. C rank stabs on a horse is still decent. Like... Uh, the only reason uh, that Lana is this high is because okay, she has okay. access to rescue. She is, she is absolutely b- uh, uh, above Dermot because 
she has staffs and charm brigade. Yes. That's for sure. Like that that we know. Like she can't be under their mod. No, no way on earth. Um, yeah. I think she's C tier still yeah. though. Like If she's B tier, she's the very bottom. Uh, what, what's, the staff, what's the stuff that she can use? Uh, heal, mend, basically just heal and mend. Um, I think also like the wake up staff restore or whatever it's called. Um, uh, what's her? What's her? Um, what? Who is her father? Was in our one? Oh, uh, because... I think Beowulf or some shit. Yeah, I so. Sh for so our run, rank. for our run, she's like not that much. Like, yeah, she is a healing bot, which was good for sure. Like, she actually she is a a healing bot bot on a horse, which is good. It uh, is especially in a game that all of your units are horses. Uh, Centaur. But like, yeah. I I want I I want to see if like if she happened to be Claude's. Uh, if she was Claude's daughter, then she would only get B rank, so she still doesn't get rescue access. Um, she gets access to I think sleep is the big one, but like it's super expensive, and she's not making oh. money in the arena. Also, she she has bullshit magic that is sexual, not that good on her. Yeah. She's got a uh, weird spot of like being a hybrid unit that would rather just be a magical unit. Yeah, I I think C tier is good for her. like high C tier is good for her. What about uh, her not quite husband? Um, Ares is Ares gonna crack the S tier? I don't think he is. I think Oifi's better than Ares, and I don't think it's like I think it's by at least a tier, right? His start is absolute bonkers. I don't know. Why you think that? Like, uh, his ma uh, holy so uh, weapon is missile amazing. Tain? Yeah, missile tain. True, true. I guess it's just a matter of like his stats. Like his and bulk is kind of mediocre. Also, his availability is kind of okay. meh. Missile tain gives a bunch of kill. It gives uh, like and, critical. And it gives critical. It gives a bunch of skill. Uh, and Some it's resistance, like 10 resistance, I think. Uh, yeah, and, and it gives resistance uh, in a game that we don't have stats. And skill is actually good and like 0% uh, growth because we need hit. Uh, uh, and critical is a nice, and res is very in, important in some points in the, uh, in, the, in the game. Yeah. But I don't know. It's, it's like, I don't know. I just. Don't believe he is below Shannon. I, 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 I like... and and par with Shannon. Sorry. You think he's on par with Shannon? Yeah. Yeah, they show up at around the same time. Like he has worse availability, but he has a horse. Yeah. And he has worse stats, but he has a horse. And, uh, and he promotes, so it's uh like yes, he needs to go through a, a training arc. We're like it's a very easy training arc because of the holy weapon. So. I feel like you could put it either like you could either argue either way. I'm gonna put him below Shannon just because I don't know, maybe it's bias, maybe I was like disappointed. Like I was gonna get him to marry his cousin because he was gonna be that good. But uh, then also, yeah. the strength wasn't like, like he was just disappointing and I was like, the point of strength isn't worth the incest at this point. Cause like, what is he gonna do? Cause Hawk shows up so soon afterwards. Like you get you get Ares halfway through chapter seven, and Hawk shows up at the end of chapter eight. So he's not that soon. He yeah. was useful for um he was useful for parts of chapter eight. So yeah, I guess and I guess eight years. He, he, he worked in Endgame as well. Like he 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 has been doing a lot for, and uh, you realize that uh, at the end of the game, uh, the enemies are mostly stronger than half of our uh, units. So yes. <laughs> No, I think you're right. Um, I think someone we definitely are not going to argue over is Layla, right? Like, instant S tier. Uh, S tier. Charm Brigade, that, uh, four-way da uh, four dash. <laughs> so, like, it's 
She is everything. I, I don't think we gave her like the knight uh, uh, brand or whatever its name. Yeah, eventually she gave her the knight Kanto. brand. She has not Kanto. She was she was amazing. Which like yes, technically that's favoritism, but I do think it was the be like she was the best one to have it. Yeah. Um, like, I, what are you gonna give Kanto to Shannon? I guess give Kanto to Lana for five move rescue. <laughs> I guess Patty could theoretically benefit from Kanto, but, like, no, fuck off. Um, yeah. Give me a dancer all day, every day. She could, yeah. like, dance and then Kanto away, or she could dance and then Kanto into a charm position. Like, when you combine that with Leaf as well, and just rescuing her around, like, easily one of the best units in the army. Um, I think she's better than Oifi, simply because, like... Oifi was theoretically replaceable by okay, someone okay. holding okay, the brave sword. Okay, okay. let me just say it this way. Le Lila gives you two Oifis. She does. <laughs> or two Oifis and also two Hawks and also two Rescues and also yeah. two Shannons all in the same turn. Yeah. Um, like she was a crucial piece of at every stage of the game. Um, yeah. And she really only missed the one, like, one and a half chapters. Yeah. Um, she would have been useful for grinding Selif. Like, I wish I got her a chapter earlier for grinding Selif, but I can't really complain about not getting the Dancer in the very first chapter of the game. Yeah. Uh, how much do we value just giving a plus magic boost to Hawk? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot Arthur. Fuck, I forgot Arthur. <laughs> uh, we uh, forgot let's, Arthur. Let's talk S about City. Let's talk about Poor City. Poor City, S tier. Uh, no. No, not S tier. <laughs> god, no, not S tier. Because he was so fucking bad. Oh my god. What do you mean? He, he, he destroyed a lot of the chapters. We just... He oh, fuck. Just died to everything. Fuck. <laughs> well, he yeah. Died he died to everything, everything but like... At least he can power through a lot of shit. I'm not putting him in S tier. Um, I can see an argument for A or B tier. Um, I'm not putting him in S tier because, like, here's the thing. Also, you know, if we're if we're taking points off of Leaf, if you if the if your argument for Leaf not being in S tier is that he had to go through a training arc, you know who had to go through an even more painful training arc? Fucking Arthur, getting one shot by every enemy on the map. Uh, didn't we use Force City on him? Yeah, but he gets I'm... one shot. Like, I remember I tried to set up a kill. I was like, oh, yeah, there's one brigand. I'll just equip Force City, and then that one brigand will attack, and Arthur will kill. And then that one brigand was like, one shot, motherfucker! Oh, okay, yeah, Th um, that's so bad. <laughs> like, it was an incredibly painful training arc. Granted, yeah, we cheesed the shit out of it like we did with Selif, but, like, even then, just... I don't... Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. Um, and, what's, and, and the payoff, the payoff was, like, good. Hold a weapon on a horse and it hits resistance. Like, that's real good. But yeah. we couldn't enemy phase with him because he was still fucking frail. Um, like, if we were enemy phasing, we were relying on dodging. Which, like, yes, yeah. RNG manipulation, but also... All the, all the, the heads on, on him were low, right? Like, 13. They were low, mostly. 20, but 13. They, they would get... But it would be the point of, like, you know, you face 10 enemies, each of whom has a 20% hit rate. And if yeah. one of them hits you, you die. Yeah, um, yeah. I think as a play, he was a good player phase nuke. Um, yeah, for sure. He has a uh, he was amazing. He, 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 fought, he fought through a lot. I think also, it hurt. so I talked about relies on Balmong being a bad argument. Here's my argument for why him with the Forsetti is actually, like, the fact that he needs Forsetti is a downside. Money management. Um, like, you, you can say Shannon relies on Balmung, but also he is decent with other swords. Arthur wasn't doing jack dick with any of the other uh, tomes. Like, yes, we got Critical Elwind, and, like, that was fun, but it was more for Hawk than it was for uh, fucking... I have set up instead of Hawk. I'm just all over the place today. Um, it was more for Hawk than it was for Arthur. Um, yeah. Critical Elwin, like, Arthur did a decent job with Critical Elwin, but he couldn't guarantee a kill without critting. 
And if he didn't get the kill, then what is he doing? Because he's supposed to be doing stuff on player phase. So then he's relying on Forsetti to get kills. And he's relying on, like, Patty giving him money for Forsetti to work. Because Forsetti's really expensive. So I don't think it's necessarily like, a, well, he's bad because if he didn't have Forsetti, it would be bad. But I do think it's worth acknowledging that he was very expensive to use. Especially when we started wanting to, like, repair Balamong. And repair all the status stabs and stuff. Like, so because of that, I'm putting him lower than Patty. But I do think, I do think he's fair. A tier. Fair, fair. That's my money management rant. Yeah. Um, what about his sister? Who gave plus magic to Hawk? And it's plus five, right? Yeah. It was the, I mean, so uh, she gets I am the fact the... we can silence Ishtar. Without uh, her, we yeah. can silence Ishtar. Yeah, yeah, that, That's what I was going to say. She made a silence Ishtar. And that's, like, that, Ishtar was one of the, uh, like, parts of the game where we were doubting our, ourselves if we could finish it or not so she also get the lover bonus to hawk in terms of hit rates yeah i i think yeah that i think it's uh, she, she so, absolutely d tier but above the sword twins yeah because fuck them <laughs> absolutely yeah <laughs> my greatest disappointment not even a holy weapon could save this guy um i don't remember him doing anything yeah. Like, he helped out a little bit, but it was so unimpactful. Like, he had a holy weapon that was effective against wyverns, and he was only, like, the seventh most useful chapter in... Or the seventh most useful unit in the various wyvern chapters. Yeah. And he shows also, up so late. Uh, also, they didn't did tweet Berserk and he went to Ishtar. <laughs> no, that was a random brigand who suicided. Oh. <laughs> um... I think we... I think he's actually, like, worse than the Sword Twins. Like, just because of availability. Is that true, though? Is that true, though? <laughs> no. Nope. I know, yeah, yeah. He's not worse than, than them. I would, I would go up with worse than Teeny because Teeny actually gave us some resource. Yeah, she like, gave us some magic. Yeah. But, like, he didn't do any shit. He really didn't. Um, Like... It's funny because Hannibal is a better bow unit. Okay, okay. To, be fair, to be fair, now I think the Sword Brothers should be in F tier as well. You think because they're F tier? I don't remember them doing anything. I, they were like, helpful in Chapter 6. Were they? Yeah. Were they? We got like sandwiched by Axe Bros. Okay. Um, Hannibal. Hannibal, Hannibal, Hannibal. D tier, uh, or maybe even F. He didn't do anything. We just recruit. We just, uh, huh? You you said B tier, right? D or F. Well, but he was he was like bulky. He was helpful a little bit, I guess. Ugh, no, you're probably right. He's kind of trash. <laughs> better than the Sword Twins. Like better than Sword Twins. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Sure. But like he showed up, and then we were facing facing a bunch of uh, magical enemies. Yeah. And then it's just like, well, what do you do? Yeah. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing, Danny? You forgot about Finn existing. Uh, Finn it's, is B tier, right? B tier, yeah. Uh, he assisted a lot uh, early, uh, like in the early gen two, and I think he had brave uh, the brave lance on him. Yes. He was like the brave lance user because yeah. like none of my other lance users. Uh, were although he didn't double like any shit. I, I don't remember him doubling any shit in, in the game, like, with the Brave uh, brave Lance, other than, like, using the Brave Lance. Yeah, uh, to, like, double using the Brave Lance. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. block, though. Hey, yeah, and I just remember him being helpful in the early games. In uh, Chapter I'll... 8, in particular, he was, like, good for protecting Nana. Like, he needed help from Ares. But he yeah. was good for, like, protecting Nana, protecting, uh, you know, there's the northern Launcher Castle when you gotta, like, split your yeah. forces and shit. Yeah. Um, he was also decent for, like, saving those villages in the very beginning of uh, Chapter 7. Where, like... Uh, how is his bulk? Because he's basically uh, Johan. Uh, his like... bulk was, like, just miracle existing. Okay, yeah, mir oh, yeah, Miracle. I yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't take as much advantage of Miracle as we probably sh could have and should have, but, you know, it exists. It's something he gets credit for. Just because I suck doesn't mean that he does. 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to skip my favorite boy for now. Um, and we're going to talk about the other favorite boy, Charlo. Uh, interesting debate again. Like, how much credit does he get for the Berserk staff existing? I well, think because, he, like... Exists, it only exists with him. Yeah. So, where does that leave him? Like, is, he's better than Nana? Did we, use, Question did, we use, did we use the Berserk staff at all? Yeah, that's how we beat the game. The Berserk oh. staff is how we killed Julius. Oh yeah, he 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 is, at the, he's he's at least C tier because of it. I think he's the top of C tier. Yeah. This is again like this chunk right here. What is going on? This is Bizarro World. Um, Char Charlo is more like, how much do you value this Berserk staff? And, and in, I think this is different than like. Because there's the argument of, like, if a unit shows up and has an item in their inventory, they don't get credit for it because you would get that item for free regardless, right? Yeah. I think that because you need to protect Charlo, much, it, it feels to me like, because it's from a secret conversation, it's like getting the stat boost from marriage, right? Yeah. Like, we gave uh, Tinny credit for uh, her marriage stat boost. I think we give Charlo credit for the fact that his daddy gives him the Berserk Staff. Um, Altena, d disappointing trash. Disappointing she trash. is she is the most disappointing because in a normal playthrough she is nothing special. So I saw it at least in a like, uh, in, in in a playthrough where it's no nobody is anything special with her bases like the higher bases and her like weapon. She's gonna be anything uh, any better? Nope. Well, she still tough. relied on child bases though, which means she like doesn't actually get the slightly higher bases that she would otherwise oh so like that was the that was part of the disappointment and then just like no resistance gg yeah, yeah. uh like flying utility is useful probably the bottom of c tier like i'm not willing to put her down here with the absolute trash yeah um but let's talk about my favorite boy. And let's talk about why I think he's better than Sed. Um, well, actually, we'll move Sed up here. So I can put him in F tier. Okay. Uh, can I talk about them before? Yeah, let's talk? talk about them. Okay. I understand why you love him. Because he is automatically good. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, that you just follow this step, this step, this step. And he's amazing. Uh, while that's true, Seth is more flexible, where, uh, in, in a sense of, I want to be creative with my child units, with the painting and stuff. So that's why I would always prefer Seth over Hawk. Uh, but I see why Hawk is amazing. No, but so here's the thing about Seth, right? The only yeah. version of, Sed, like, if you're going to be flexible with Seth and you're giving him skills, he doesn't get a good magical fan. He doesn't get a good magical father then. Yeah. Like, so then you've kind of just got a worse, like, you've yeah, kind of like, just got a worse version okay, okay. of uh, Hawk I, because he doesn't have good magic. He just has, like, weird skills. Like, oh, we gave him, like, I don't know, what 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 would you give him? Like, Adept or something? Okay. Can, he gets can that I, as a Sage anyway, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I say a bug that I just discovered, which is uh, Lex Arthur, and apparently it destroys the game? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes, because uh, they have he has vantage wrath and uh, yeah, but he has terrible magic. Yeah, his magic doesn't like his. Yes, it does. Magic. He's dealing no damage with a critical. He still dies. That's the thing. It does a lot of damage. It I, really does. I, I've, I, I've, I, I've, it really doesn't. I, I have calculated it, and he does like seventy-eight damage. Okay, but that's also not a build you can put on set. Yeah, Regardless it's not of the fact that you're wrong. I'm just saying, um, it's I'm not just a build saying. you can put on said. Like, okay, so here's I, the thing I'm about said, just... right? Is the only said that will have higher magic than Hawk, right? On average, because like this isn't accounting for the bases. Hawk is always going to have better bases, especially Azel, if you account Azel? for his secret event. Is um, it Azel? No, it's not Azel. Um, it's Claude. Claude said oh. is the only said that on average will have higher magic than Hawk. 
The rest of them have lower magic than Hawk. Now, he gets access to Forsetti. However, the main utility of Hawk, in my opinion, is, like, high magic plus the fact... Like, high magic allows him... Yes, he deals damage. Um, which is something that, you know, Sed can make up for with Forsetti. Um, but... High magic also means you can use utility stabs on other mages. So silence and sleep. Uh, being able to use those on units that have high resistance is something that Hawk can do that Sed can't do. Yeah. Sed can yeah. use Forsetti, but it is usually overkill. Uh, Hawk, as we saw at his bases, because his growths are terrible. So, like, yes, he's probably going to be slightly better in a growths context than he would be in the 0%, but his growths are pretty terrible. You can reliably guess that he's going to be just about the same performance as he was in this run in any run. And he performed... He was not a discount said he was doing the things that said would do with forsetti um if yeah. you don't give said forsetti and you make him into claude like he has slightly higher magic so he can do the things that hawk does but then you have denied yourself a good claude pairing for like getting the rescue staff early and in order to get a what a slightly better set like a said who can use valkyrie and has slightly better magic um yeah I think on uh, average you would much rather get uh, Hawk in like every because I th I think Hawk is better than Forsetti said even if you ignore the fact that like f the opportunity cost of giving said Forsetti takes away from Arthur like even if ignore that I still think Forsetti said is worse than Hawk because like you still can't uh, silence people like silencing Ishtar is such a big deal putting people I, to sleep I, is I, such I, a big I, deal uh, does t uh, Tinis t does give said. Uh magic right yes it's all the only thing that they that uh said misses out on is hawk has better bases and hawk gets the secret event where he gets the uh spirit dust okay yeah spirit dust what's the spirit dust he gets a se he gets a secret event where in the cutscene they talk about giving him spirit dust uh, as in magic bonus yeah event? and it gives him like plus four magic i think okay yeah i know said is better <laughs> said in better and a base like bases alone no no no. hawk is better hawk is uh, better sorry. by a lot oh, sorry. hawk i i i i confused them hawk is better by bases a lot um hawk is definitely an s tier unit in this playthrough i don't think not, set is not, actually f tier not, but i'm putting him here to piss people off it's not better than layla though uh, you're probably right but i'm biased <laughs> no not better than layla you're probably right but i'm biased <laughs> I hate you. Also, uh, Aryan's F uh, 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 worse than F, F tier. There we go. Yeah. Justice. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Uh, I remember something that Aryan did that I hated so much in the playthrough. What? I don't remember what it is. Was it when he uh, like when uh, when Altena died and Arian just chilled? I I don't know. I there's something that I just hate Arian for. I just hate Arian and, and like by default. So. Hey, I mean that's valid. It means you can't marry your giant body pillow Altena. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I kind of expected a reaction, but I didn't get one. So uh, that, 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 we're gonna end the video, and I'm yeah. I'm just telling you, Hawk is S tier, Sed is F tier, Arion is worse than F tier. Uh, thank you, Modi, so much for joining me, and yep. uh, thank you everyone who watched. Uh, I fucking hate FE4. I'm so ready to not be playing this game anymore. Oh my god. <laughs>